When I was in elementary school, I was a huge Laker fan. Back then I had a paper route. Every day I would fold newspapers with them in special bags that fit around the handlebars of my bike. I would deliver papers. I aimed to save enough money to attend the Pat Riley basketball camp. And I was pleasantly surprised when on my birthday, my parents agreed to send me to the camp. This camp was special because of Pat Riley. He made sure that he spent time with every child there. He stayed at the camp every moment that we were there and never seemed to take a break. I remember one of the talks that he gave about eagles and ducks. He said that to be successful in life and make the world a better place, focus on doing the best you can always. Build good habits. I remember him saying that the world is full of people who have gotten used to doing just what is required for their jobs and no more. <laughs> he called these people ducks. He gave an example of a supermarket checkout line. He said there could be two checkout lines of similar length. And still one line can move much faster and include a much more pleasant checkout experience because the people working in that line had made a commitment to work hard, work quickly, and have a positive attitude. He called the people working in this line eagles. He said he always looks for eagles at the checkout line. He encouraged us to always strive to be eagles and to try our best to surround ourselves with eagles. This is not the path of least resistance, but it is the path that builds success. I remember him explaining that we didn't have to become great basketball stars to become successful. Because success comes from the satisfaction of a job well done. Sometimes I think of this speech, I examine my life and I ask myself, what am I doing to be an eagle? I encourage my students and my children to strive to reach their potential with a positive attitude. No eagle can fly all the time. Sometimes they take time to rest, but when the time comes to get work done, they soar above everyone else. Today, I'm renewing my commitment that I made at that camp so long ago to strive to be an eagle.